morning. Cap Chris Tabola, Houston Fire Department, Station 60. We've been asked lately to do a couple of bundles and deployments uh, showing our combat load. So this morning, we're going to show another deployment coming off of the captain's side of the pumper or the first lineman's side of the pumper. The firefighter is going to pull 200 feet with a short stretch to what we have simulated as a single story residential, uh, roughly 50 to 60 feet away from the pumper with, as you can see here, we have some foam buckets bordering the sidewalk. This simulates uh, a flower bed where you wouldn't be able to do like we showed on the last video where we did a V-split and was allowed to take the whole section of uh, our whole section of slack right up to the front door. This one here, we're going to have to do a break the bundle early and do a forward stretch to the door. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that kind of in a slower fashion instead of full speed just so you can see the, de the deployment of the bundle early and him pulling it to the door and how that what that looks like. So at this time, he's going to go ahead and pull. Now, before he finishes pulling it out, what I want you to show you, if you come on up here, Perry, is that when you're looking at this, you see that in the middle of the hose, there's no couplings. You either want your couplings all the way forward or you want your couplings to set all the way to the rear of the, of the hose bundle. And this keeps them off your shoulder. Uh, typically, if you have the couplings right here in the middle, your load wants to sit too high with an air pack and a helmet on, you potentially could have some issues. So doing a little preventative maintenance when you're loading your hose, and we're gonna go ahead and show that as well, loading the hose load on our next video, loading this load. Make sure that your couplings are either all the way forward or all the way to the rear on, uh, on the hose load. As he exits the tray, he's gonna make sure he comes all the way out and clears. This does a couple of things. One, ensures that everything's pulled out and is on his shoulder. Two, he's gonna make sure he clears the pump or takes a step away and it gives him a clean line off the rear of the firefighter and does not allow the hose to be caught up on the bottle. If he was to come off too early and turn to grab his hose over there, he's going to end up with several of these on his bottle like this, which potentially could create an issue down the road. Not a significant one, just one that delays your deployment by a few seconds. So make sure you come out, clear the hose bed where you're all the way off and the hose loads completely straight. Now at this time, he's going to turn around Grab the two bites of his 100 foot flat load section, and he's going to make his way to the front door. As he pulls, you see the hose clear, straight, leaving. He's going to deploy and come up his sidewalk. That's right. That's right. Go ahead and bust. At this point, you could pull your flat load section all the way to the door with you. In this instance, he decided to drop the flat load section in the yard. He's going to go ahead and do a forward stretch to the door by breaking his bundle apart early. So, now, at this point in time, at this point in time, he ends up with his first coupling and his nozzle at the at the door of course a little bit more of his slacks not right at the front door as it would be in the beat split but in this case this is a tight situation where either either it's an apartment landing or you have a sidewalk bolt with flower beds bordering it where you don't have the room to take that whole load all the way to the front door with you. in this case He's still approaching the door from the hinge side that gives him the best view of the room, allows him to check behind the door and go ahead and make his advancement. That's been our short forward stretch section with the combat load. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back shortly with uh, a few other deployments. Thank you. All right, we're back. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate. Uh, firefighter JC Rich can go ahead and demonstrate pulling the load from the driver's side and deploying a short, short section. Uh, which our front door is going to be right around the corner right here. So traditionally this is going to be uh, basically about a 50 foot stretch to the front door. The firefighter comes up, if you'll notice, on the combat load we do have one loop on the very bottom. This allows the firefighter to pull the loop and to pull the shoulder section out while he's facing the pumper, which is going to place the nozzle on the front side of the firefighter, which is where we want it. So as he pulls 
his section out, you're going to notice that the hose coming across is going to the flat loaded section. Now you have to be careful which way you turn because if he turns toward the rear of the pumper, he potentially is going to uh, wrap this around himself. So what he's going to do at this time is he's going to turn toward the cab of the pumper. He's going to reach around with his left hand, just like you would on the other side, and go ahead and pull his bites off from the flat load and go ahead and make that stretch. Now in a short stretch, he's got 200 feet of hose here. So he's taking the whole 200 feet to the door and we're going to show you that in slow motion going to the door here. Go ahead, Rich. You notice as he pulls the hose also, the engineer operator doesn't need to assist in pulling any hose out of the cross leg as this stretch allows for all the hose to come out on the initial pull. At this point, he's going to go ahead and unbuckle his hose load, and he's going to do what's called a V-split. If you want to get around the front, you can see as he does it. We're going to go through this slow motion. He's going to go ahead and unconnect. Make sure you control your nozzle. He's going to go ahead and split the top half of the load with his left hand, and he's going to grab the bottom part of the load with his right hand. Now as he splits, he's going to turn into the load, separating it, creating a V with the hose. Let's come around to the front. You can see here, he's separated. He's a few feet away from the door. So as he starts to lower the hose down, he can back up towards the door. Now he's gonna come out. He's gonna drop the hose and nozzle. He's gonna come out and grab this middle section. You can sling it out probably about five feet out here. And he's gonna come right back to the door. As he calls for water, water, should he need to, he can go ahead and flake out these other little bins right here if he needs to. So at this point in time, he's going to go ahead and pop his nozzle a few times popping the kinks out of his hose line and he'll be ready to enter. As you can see, he's sitting on the hinge side of the door. This affords the plug fireman to come up, force the door, while still controlling the door, allows the nozzleman to see the full view of the room by approaching the room from the hinge side of the door. If he's on the opposite side of the door, as soon as the door opens, he's facing a wall. He doesn't have very great application in that aspect. So on this side, make sure you're on the hinge side of the door. The door is forced, can be controlled, but at the same time, he can go ahead and reach in. He can locate his fire, allow his smoke to lift, and he can look for any victims rather quickly behind the door. Come back out, he has his nozzle there the whole time with him. And at this point, the captain's done doing a 360, and you're ready for your advance. That today is our driver's side deployment of the combat load and a short stretch, basically from the street to the front door, utilizing 200 feet of hose. Thank you for uh, viewing the video, and we'll catch you on the next one.